Hello, I'm Corey. Welcome to Liquid Dirt. Let's get started. Today we're talking about seeds. Heirloom seeds. They're the type that you can regrow over and over as long as you harvest your own seeds. They're perfect. They're the seeds our grandparents grew. Non-GMO, non-hybrid, they're terrific plants. And they're grown in our region. What we're looking at here is what comes actually in our seed packs, in our heirloom seed packs. So we have over 30 different varieties of garden seeds that you'll have, and all of those are listed on our website. The other thing that we have is our heirloom herbal seeds. Now those, you actually get 20 different packs and different varieties of herbal seeds, and those are also heirloom. But let's get started on how to prep our seeds so we can grow a garden that we'll all love. So what you'll need to prepare your seeds is you'll need your growing media that's, pre that's prepared. And you can see how to do that on our hydroponics media prep video. You will need some pH stabilized water and to learn how to stabilize the pH within your water and keep that at 6.0, please see our video on pH stabilization. You'll need some liquid dirt, and you'll also need your heirloom seeds, and a small container that has a little recess on the lid. And I'll show you detailed photos of that as well. So what I do is I actually use the lid right side up because it gives me a very shallow groove on top of here. And for lettuce seeds, they're very small, so we're gonna use just a little bit of our prep solution. So what I'm going to start with is our actual butter crunch lettuce. It has a really good sweet flavor and I really prefer that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put about 20 seeds out here in the center of the dish. Just like that. Now the great thing about these heirloom seeds is they have a really high germination rate so there's very few uh, seeds that won't germinate. So, uh, especially using the liquid herb process here. So what we'll do is we'll just take just a couple of drops, just a little bit of liquid herb. Just about like that much. Just a teeny bit of liquid herb. And then we will take just enough water so that we can cover our seeds. And that's what makes a really shallow groove dish like this appropriate. So what I'll do is I'll just incorporate those just with my finger. And you just want to touch all your seeds because they have little hairs on them that will uh, allow them to float. And what you want to do is you want to let them soak into the liquid dirt mix. And so now that we have them in the liquid dirt mix, just like that, then all we'll do is we will let this sit for four hours and then we will come back and plant our seeds. So it's been four hours since we let our seeds soak and I just cover them up just to keep them warm. You want to keep them in about a 70 degree area and that way that they will absorb the nutrient correctly and they'll also start germinating faster. And as you can see from the photos, the seed on the left which is the dry seed versus the seed on the right, which is the plumped seed from soaking in the liquid dirt. So let me show you how we separate the liquid dirt from the seeds here. It's actually pretty easy. So we'll just gently tip and slowly roll the liquid dirt to one side. Just like that. And then what I will generally do at this point is just rock it back and forth just to separate the liquid dirt from the seeds. 
and because they've already plumped then they're really easy to go ahead and plant and so what I'll do is just slide another tray just underneath like this and then I'll just break the the tension on some of these like this and I'll just scrape the seeds just back up out of the liquid dirt just like that now your seeds may germinate within this four hours and some of these are already starting the germination process and that's exactly what you should see is some plump seeds that are ready for germination so I have these already prepped and they've already been drained and the little bit of liquid dirt left in the bottom like you can see there is just fine you don't have to worry about that just make sure that these have drained for at least an hour before we go ahead and plant and that way it doesn't oversaturate the seeds once we get them in here and planted and so what I'll do is I'll just use the smaller tray here and I'll put one in here and then to plant the seeds all I'll use is just this little stick and I'll pick the seed up on the edge of the stick and then I will put it down in the hole about a quarter of an inch press against the side and then lift the stick out now because we've soaked these in liquid dirt we already know that all the seeds that have sunk to the bottom are going to germinate so we only need to put one seed in each cup and so I'll show that one more time So you just reach over, slide the seed down, just removing the moisture off of the seed. And then if you lift up, it'll be right on the end of your stick, as you can see there. And then you just stick it into the hole, against the side, and run it out. So as I, as I get the seed, you can see it there on the end of the stick there. So then I take that and I place that inside and push it up against the wall and then draw the stick out. Now that adhered it to the side of the wall with the rock wool. So what I'll do at this point is I'll just scratch just gently towards that seed the rest of the rock wool until I cover the seed. So it's basically almost just like planting in soil, but I'm not doing this compacting it. I'm just covering it over and making sure the seed's in good contact with the rock wool. And that's as easy as it is. Now some people in this hole like to put vermiculite in there and that's another great way to do it but vermiculite can get heavy over time and can prevent the seed from actually sprouting as easily as what it can using this method so I'll finish all the rest of these and then I'll show you the next step so one other technique is to use a growing container like this now these can be purchased from your garden center or your hydroponic uh, distributor and these work really well for doing your seeds in now you can put your seeds in here in your cups right next to one another and they'll be perfectly fine but I've found that spacing them out just a little bit makes sure that if uh, they grow a little bit faster than I expect them to then they'll have plenty of room to grow for a little while inside this container until I get them put inside of my hydroponic unit or until the outside conditions for ground planting are going to allow us to put those into the ground. So all I do is I just set those in just like that and I just space them out a little bit. Now in a container of this size what I would recommend is to use one cap full of liquid dirt just one capful and I'll pour that kind of in the middle here
and then we will use our pH balanced water and again you can see all of our information on how to pH, pH balance your water on our website as well as in our video directory on YouTube. And so what I'll do is fill it up until just the bottom again is covering the uh, rock wool. And then all I'll do is I'll just agitate this just slightly and all I'm doing is mixing the liquid dirt inside of the water column. And once it looks like it's a uniform mix, then all I'll do is I will take these and set these aside to germinate. Now if you do buy these from your growing center, the great thing about these is they do come with their own growing hoods. And I really, really like these. They have vents on the top, which you can adjust, so you can let out the humidity if you need to, if it's getting too humid, or you can close those off so that the humidity will stay just inside of here. Now what I recommend that we do with these is just cover them with a towel so it stays dark for the first couple of days during the germination process. As soon as you see the sprout starting to come outside of the rock wool, then take that cover off, stick these under your growing lights or in a nice sunny window, and your sprouts will grow and prosper. As soon as you see them about an inch to two inches tall or forming their first main growth leaves, then that's a great time to transplant them. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this has been an enlightening tutorial on how to plant your seeds and to use liquid dirt seed prep. So no matter if you're using your rock wool or you're using your peat moss or you're using any other material to grow your seeds in, using liquid dirt seed prep will get you to your harvest 50% faster and using liquid dirt within your hydroponic system is a great organic alternative to the chemical products that's on the market. Thank you so much for watching and until our next video, great growing.